Well, I, I found this company that's trying to hack lightning in sort of a different way. I'm going to chat you a link. They're called Lightning Eliminators and Consultants. That. I love and that there's a company with that name. <laughs> well, I mean, they claim that they do. It looks like they're kind of doing an anti-lightning rod situation where they're protecting sensitive areas from potentially being struck by lightning. Some kind of big force field? Yeah, they even have one at the gondola at Mountain Village Telluride in Colorado. So you're saying there's a lightning-proof force field in the beautiful mountains of Colorado. According to this company. John, I think I sounds may... Sounds pretty dangerous. Maybe I should go with you. No, no, Brian, no. You have too much to live for. The gondola at Mountain Village, Colorado carries two and a half million tourists between its mountainside attractions and hotel resorts every year. For decades, this ski area was one of the most lightning-prone sites in the world, and the resort's operators constantly worried about the threat of strikes. So they decided to do something about it. The single lightning strike could take out tens of thousands of dollars worth of our equipment. Bill Dean supervised the installation of a groundbreaking lightning prevention system that has virtually eliminated the threat of strikes. I don't have an actual count of lightning strikes, but I have seen a day where we had 1,200 strikes in one, within one hour. But now, thanks to this new anti-lightning force field, that number is close to zero. Well, you can see on all of our towers, it almost looks like a barbed wire structure. Wow, so that's what's helping to protect this whole system from lightning. Yes, it is. If this lightning repellent technology works so well, why don't we just use it everywhere? And how would you go about creating a lightning-proof force field anyway? When we come back, I'm going straight to the lightning eliminators to find out. When I set out in search of ways to hack lightning, I expected to find some spectacular breakthroughs, but I couldn't have predicted my quest would lead to a lightning-proof force field. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but that's exactly what lightning eliminators and consultants in Boulder, Colorado claims it can provide. I think you, you might be the, the first professional lightning eliminator I've ever had a chance to meet. There's, there's not a lot of us around. <laughs> this is Darwin Sletton is LEC's chief engineer and lightning defense guru. We prevent a lightning strike from occurring to an area that is protected. Typically, a cloud has a negative charge on the bottom and a positive charge up on top. Sooner or later, the electric field gets high enough that a spark occurs between the earth and the cloud. That's what's called lightning. In order to have this lightning strike, you have to have a leader coming down and something called an upward streamer to connect. We prevent that upward streamer from forming. The way they do this is by corrupting the electrical field with charged particles from a spiny device they install on tall structures, a kind of anti-lightning rod. All of these tiny points has this effect of altering the electric potential of, of this whole area around the tower. Is that right? Uh, that's correct, yeah. Darwin's force field is an impressive hack. So here we are on the, on the roof of the LEC headquarters. Uh -huh. But I wondered, are there limits to how big or how small of an area their system can protect? If you had a unit that was just big enough for one person, it would help protect, say, hikers as they were walking around. There's a limited number of points you can get in a particular area. Oh. And with a human being, you just can't get enough points to do any good. What about going to the other extreme? Could you cover an entire town or a city, or could you cover an entire country with one? The strike has to hit somewhere. So there's a limit, and we don't know what it is yet, but there's a limit as to how big it could be. LEC's anti-lightning rod technology is a hack so outside the box, I've got to share it with my Hacking the Planet brain trust. I've been here at the awesomely named headquarters of, of lightning eliminators and consultants to find out more about their lightning protection technology. It's amazing. 
Uh, the map behind me, you can see they've, they've installed these all over the world. Wow, it looks like there's no getting away from them. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is lightning everywhere. You know, I am so used to the idea of protection against lightning as being just sort of like a glorified lightning rod. And this is the opposite. It makes me think a lot about the work of Nikola Tesla. Yeah. He's having like a second coming. There's so much interest in him. That's true. And you know what would have been cool is if we could travel back in time to see his laboratory in Colorado Springs, where he built that huge tower with the Tesla coil inside and the big copper ball at the top. Nikola Tesla may have devised the first spectacular lightning hack with his famous Tesla coil. It created lightning by manipulating the same principles that LEC now uses to prevent it. A simple circuit made of a power converter, a capacitor, and a copper coil transfers surging electrical charges into a metal dome at the top of the device. And just like a storm cloud, when the electric field between the dome and the ground maxes out, lightning is born. <laughs> 